valuable collection of vintage movie footage goes up for tender in Invercargill later this week. The collection dates back to the early 1900s and it's been stored for ages in a small movie theatre in someone's backyard. Now the theatre has been one of the city's best kept secrets but now its owner wants to sell up. With a total of 270 titles, Elsa Sparks' backyard movie collection is one of the most valuable private collections in the country. It contains thousands of metres of footage spanning the comic rates of the early 1900s, the news events of the time and rare images of early New Zealand. The theatre was built from scratch by Elsa's late husband, Warren. A movie enthusiast since childhood, he lovingly crafted a theatre seating 50 in his own backyard. It has its own dress circle and a host of memorabilia. When we started building it, I remember one day there was a terrific snowstorm and Warren is up on the roof, way up there in the snow. I thought, people think he's a madman. I was terrified of what the neighbours would think about us. This picture is theatre going up in the backyard. But it would become an Invercargill institution. For 23 years, thousands of locals came to visit. We especially like to have the older generation because we take them back down memory lane. Now for a preview of the Motor Show in London. Of course, if your affairs are flourishing and business is good just now, you'll find a first-class selection of very fine cars at a price you can afford. So have a good look and take your choice. The older point people would come out and they'd say, oh, that was marvellous seeing that, you know, that's taken me back many years. Well, it gave us, a, you know, we had a lovely feeling that we were doing something nice for these people. It is over 50 years since Mr. John Joseph Wood of Lawrence, Otago, wrote the music for God's Defend New Zealand. Elsa's collection also has the only copy in existence of a locally made feature film, Daughter of Invercargill, made in 1928. And the most valuable item is this 1908 nitrate film of French comedian Max Linder. This is thought to be the only colour version in the world. Each of the 16 frames that flicker through the projector per second have been individually hand tinted. The movie stopped rolling when Warren died early last year. And on Friday, Alza puts the entire collection, the equipment and the theatre up for tender. She hopes the collection will stay in Southland and while sad to sell it, she wants to start a new chapter. Up until 23 years ago, it wasn't here. So I have spent the most of my life living on this property without a theatre. So I feel that I can, that I can let it go. Interest in the collection has already come from enthusiasts in the North Island and Australia. It's expected to fetch over $50,000. Justine Short, 3 National News. All those old silent movies, seeing them again, John, must bring back memories. I think I may have narrated some of them even, <laughs> Thank you very much. I can't talk like that anymore. <laughs>